Hi there, come on in. And welcome to The Helpful Herbivore, where each week you'll get a simple yummy recipe and you'll get to meet a local shelter animal looking for a forever home. Today's episode is gonna be super special because you'll get to meet more than one. Now, with my recipe today, summer's just around the corner, which that means going to the beach, picnics, outdoor get-togethers, family get-togethers where you cook out. So whenever my sister asks me to bring over a dish for what she's hosting, she always asks for the watermelon salad. So today I'm going to show you how I make very simple, very delicious, I'm always pleased to make it, the watermelon salad. So let's jump right in. Okay, to begin, obviously you need a watermelon. Now, generally it's more cost effective to buy the whole melon and then chop it up yourself. But if time is not on your side, your local grocery store should already have some seedless watermelon cut and cubed up for you ready to go. You'll need three cups of this. You'll need a half a cup of sliced red onion, A half a cup of feta cheese. I use the plant-based Violife feta cheese. It is so good and creamy and just adds a little bit of that sharp cheesy flavor. Delicious. A half a cup of fresh chopped mint. Two tablespoons of olive oil. One tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. And a pinch of salt and pepper. Okay, so you'll need your three cups of watermelon your half a cup of sliced red onion, half a cup of feta cheese, like my BioLife plant-based feta cheese, half cup of fresh chopped mint, and then you're gonna mix together your balsamic with your olive oil. Now, if you do have high quality balsamic and olive oil. Definitely use it for this recipe. You won't be sorry. Okay. And then just a pinch of salt and pepper, maybe just a tiny bit more. Now some additional ingredients that you might want to consider when making the salad. Sometimes people will do um, chopped cucumbers, arugula, even toasted walnuts. I mean, whoop, lost one. Um, any kind of toasted nut. I mean, it just really makes for a very delicious and refreshing summer salad. Look at how pretty. Yummy. And it's just that simple. Look at how beautiful this summer watermelon salad is. Speaking of beautiful, I have some very special friends that have beautiful hearts that I can't wait for you to meet. This here is my friend Sprocket. Sprocket is 11 years old. He would be a great family dog. He's good with kids. He's good with dogs. He walks well on a leash. He is housebroken. Now, although he's 11, as you can tell, I mean, he's got so much love and energy to give to his forever home. I don't know if you remember that show Fraggle Rock back in the 80s, but um, the man who lives upstairs, his dog's name was Sprocket which makes me love this hunk of love even more, but he's such a sweetheart. So I would definitely, definitely come and meet this, this amazing dog named Sprocket. This is my friend, Red. Red is a very sweet and special boy. Um, he's 10 years old. He loves his toys and car rides. And as you can, he's just a very, very happy dog. Um, he would do best in a family with older kids, um, just because of his age, you know, older kids that would just respect him. Um, 
and he just loves to be loved on. Um, probably an only dog home, but Red can be very dog selective. So if you do have a dog and you think that Red would be a perfect fit, um, the shelter, it, they will allow you to bring your dog down um, to do like a meet and greet, you know, see if it works out because maybe it will. Because like I said, you know, kind of like people. People are sometimes people selective and Red is the same way. And eh, sometimes he likes them. Sometimes he's just like, hey, I just want my human's attention. But um, I don't think he's going to be here long. So if you want to add this special sweet boy to your home, um, he's 10, but uh, he's got a lot more life and a lot more love to give.